reading a game. Um, I like to relax. Something to work towards. Not a really. Goal. Just to relax and to immerse myself into a world to get away from real human beings. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I got nothing to add to that. You covered it. <laughs> Being a completionist, um, I like to go back to um, games that I've played in the, like the past or games that I'm currently playing to try and get as much out of the game as I possibly can. But the, the addiction side of it is a lot different because you don't have so much a complete control over the game you want to play. Like, I play a lot of a handful of games because uh, I'm invested in them. I, I like the world. You go I like... like stages. You get like addicted to like a handful and then you sort of move on. I'd say it's the game that makes them addictive, not the person. I suppose it's, it's the content of the game and what's in it and whether you enjoy it. It's not so much if, you know, I don't think it's the person, anyway. Well, it can be to a point where if the person's easily, easily has an addictive an personality, personality if, yeah. if they're easily pulled into something and they can be held. You play games like, well... Every day. Yeah, every day, at least a good few hours, maybe like five or well, six Well, no, hours. it's not... It, depen longer for you, but... it depends, doesn't it? Because obviously we still have things to do, going out and whatnot. I started playing games, I was about four, and I lived in England with my mother, and my nan introduced me to the Commodore 64. Very rarely that there's a game that pulls me in so much that I think about it if I'm not playing it. I've had dreams about games. La last time, the last one that's done that was Dark Souls. But that's because that game is so vast and there's so much to it that everything about the game makes you think. Uh, I'm Connor Hughes and I used to work at DropTheComedians.com reviewing games. Um, in the process, well actually just shortly before that I was addicted to video games and I tried to turn it into a positive light in my life. During that process I got incredibly overweight, I lost a lot of friends and it wasn't the highlight of my life. My opinion from, uh, from personal experience, people being addicted to video games, it can depend on the game and the position they are in their life. Uh, shortly before I started on The Comedians, I broke up with my first girlfriend, and as a result I threw myself into video games as a way to hide from real life. I wouldn't blame the industry, but I wouldn't say they're not at fault. Since kind of uh, video game addiction has been kind of coined as a term, I don't think it's really affected the industry as much as you'd think. The industry doesn't see it as an issue. They're not, they're not making, it's like a drug dealer. They're not making heroin. They, they, you know, well, actually it's not like a drug dealer. When you, when you are a drug dealer, you know you're making something addictive. When a game company makes a game, they know they're making a good game. Hopefully they're making a good game. They don't see their end goal making you play this game forever and giving up everything else in favor of this game. I play games because uh, I enjoy the social aspect of it. I enjoy the social aspect of it. I've got lots of friends who play games online. That's my social life. I don't go out, I don't spend money, I don't drink. I play games online. Learning really aspect. I like crosswords and I like jigsaws and things like that. But you're learning, but also interacting with other people. So it's like, it's like a, a mass of uh, people. I'm playing games more than I'm working. But uh, I gotta get that booster, see? I got a booster on every week. So yes, I play a lot, I play a lot, a lot of hours. My opinion of people play, uh, uh, being addicted to games is that addictive personality. Some people have got a stronger addictive personality, other people have, haven't so much.